is take off all your plastics and your seat and your gas tank. And I'll get a time lapse of that. Once you got all the plastics off, you gotta loosen all four of your valves, caps. No torque needed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> that wasn't me, that was him. That was Zach. This is the bullshit. What about the shifting valve? Oh gosh. The valve stem, did you redo those? Actually, you do have a new valve stem. I do have a brand new valve stem. inside the boiler out. Wait, so you just didn't tighten it the first time you So we're going to check our exhaust. The exhaust, the intake are 0 0.004, and the exhaust are 0 0.005. So if it'll focus, no. there's 0 0.005 on our feeler gauge. There's a little gap between the valve and the, um, the cam lever. And it's supposed to drag, but not drag, but not be like super, super tight. Like you should be able to, yeah, like that. You can hear it. You get real close. It's kind of tight, but not yeah, too cool. tight. So these look good. The, about the exhaust side looks good. We didn't have to do much adjusting there, but the intake were really bad. So what's the fork in this guy on the top? 50, 50 foot pounds. I'm just kidding, that's not right. So we just gotta okay. take these caps out. Yeah, now it's, once you got these off, it's pretty easy. It's not that hard to get them off. Take this tool. Oh crap, we forgot to put it in top dead center. You do have to yeah, here's the caps. Well, that's not good. You yeah. You gotta move the crank. And is a baby. Okay, to put it in top dead center. You just gotta take that little. Yeah. These two caps out. You have to look for the dot in the eye hole. Yeah, what he said. They should not be Sucker that tight, by the way. On there. Who did that? They should not be that tight. Yeah, we don't use torque wrenches here. No one's ever touched that before, so. Be impacted until it stops. Okay. So there's 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 lines in here. So you gotta twist that until a line pops up right here. Counterclockwise. You take your, your ratchet hey, and you turn it. Don't lose this sucker. Counterclockwise. It's important. You can't drop anything in there. There's gonna be a little T. Dude, that sucker hurt. It smells really good. Engine oil is like just a suggestion. You don't have to run it, but mm -hmm. it's for babies. I don't want to take care of the baby. I think your pipe's a little loosey goosey. No, Honda does that. Oh crap. Uh, Did you pass it? No. <laughs> Smart Mason. You found him? Yeah. Is that enough? Yeah. Jane. I'm sure you didn't pass it. Well, I have to go finish my duties and I'll be back. Alright. We're, we're almost there. We're almost there, guys. Yeah, but we took all these plastics off. This, this bike's got a really bad tick, so we're trying to fix the valves. We got his mint 450 over there. The general. But just wait, 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 wait. So once you finally if you don't focus. Get that lined up. There's a little T in there. Yeah. But once we get once you got that lined up, then we can adjust the valves. Sorry. 
Take the valve caps off. For the intake, the, the two valves facing the carburetor are the intake and the two facing the front are the exhaust. For the intake valves, if you want to get closer. Yep. See, these are really, really loose. I can feel already. But 0 0.04 is right there. See, these are super, super loose. You shouldn't be able to slide it in like that. Yeah, see, that's way too loose. So take a flat head. A flat head and a 10, 10 millimeter wrench. Put your flat head. If these, these ones are loose. When they're loose, you tighten this bolt. So you put the flat head like that. And you tighten this bolt. So. See, that's still pretty loose. And then we we just keep going till it's tight. Let me hear. Mason, here you go. Okay. Here you go. You just gotta you loosen go. these up and take it takes, them off. It takes a it takes a minute. Okay. Yeah, you got it. No other way. That's that's righty tighty. Why'd you tell me to go that way? And it's already loose, man. No. No, no you're gonna strip it. Oh no. There you, there, go. Go. there you go. There you go. We just got one more. One more. This is some pretty small. Ow! Fudge! That hurt. It does. Maybe we should get the actual size. No. Do you have a sock I cut myself. Guys, we know what we're doing. Ow, dude. Kind of hurt it. We've done this before. Yeah, maybe you should actually get the right size. I hate. So once you got all of those in spec, you can put the caps back on, and reassemble everything. Okay, so we we decided that it was too far gone, so so we kind of just we ditched the plastics. My butt's wet. And um, yeah, yeah, it doesn't run anymore. Yeah, so so don't do this. Don't do this video. Don't do this. Wait. Watch it doing that. But, but, if you, but, 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 if you just, you, tickle, if you just it, spit into the, if you just tickle game. it a little bit, it, just, and then, it still doesn't run, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna give up. Oh, shoot. <laughs> um, we accidentally put diesel in the gas tank, so. We gotta get a new one real quick. Yeah, we got, we got rid of that. Dude. We just gotta rebuild the motor. Yeah, it's all right. We're just it needed a rebuild. It, better it needed a rebuild anyway. We're good. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah.